All right, guys, now I'm going to show you how to put your lenses onto your camera. So first thing, of course, you're going to need your camera. And you're going to take this lens cap section off here, this cover. So you're going to turn it to the left. Remember the importance of trying to keep your camera pointed down because we don't want to get any dust inside of it. And then you're going to need your lens. So this is really going to only work for the um, standard lens and your zoom lens, um, your telescope lens. So the other two lenses, the macro and the micro, they actually attach to your standard lens. But let me show you this one first. So I'm still keeping this pointed down. You're going to want to take off this bottom piece here. I'm going to set my camera down. So we turn it. you got to be careful. Um, the zoom ring uh, will start to move, so you want to make sure you have a firm hold of a part that doesn't move. So right over here where it says Canon, that'll give you a firm part to hold on to. And you can twist this off. And you'll notice I have my white square right there. And I'm going to find on my alignment guide the white square. Put the two together so that they match up. And then you're going to turn it to the left until it clicks. Really make sure that it clicks, otherwise you're not on there all the way. So the cool thing about these lenses in uh, Canon is they made it so that this front cover piece will just screw right onto that so that you don't risk losing one or the other. So you just put those two together and then you've got your lens in place. So you want to, of course, take off your lens cap if you're going to take pictures, otherwise you're just going to take a black image. And you'll see inside here, um, there is threading. So when you're ready to put the macro or the micro lens and use those, you're going to thread them on to the top here. You have to be very, very careful when you do that because um, the lenses are made into several different pieces. And this has actually happened to me where I went to thread it on and I actually undid the macro lens and then it fell apart. So you got to be careful with that. Um, I can help you with that when the time comes, but you are just going to thread it on here. You're just going to twist it on kind of like we um, twist these two together. So when you are ready to use your lens, of course, you want to make sure that you're holding it correctly. We saw in the video how to do that. So you're going to want to support the bottom with your left hand, and then you have your right hand ready for your shutter button. Um, you have two different zoom areas. So this first one is for zooming in and out. And if you have your camera in MF, manual focus, then you can do this zoom ring as well. If it's in autofocus, actually let me turn my stabilizer on. I don't know why that was off. Um, if you have it in autofocus, then the camera is going to do that for you. Okay, so you only will have to do this kind of zoom and then the camera will um, do this fine tuning for you. If you want to do the fine tuning, just make sure you get it back into manual focus. Okay. Uh, one other thing to show you is when you are ready to take your pictures, this button that is right here is what you can use to adjust. Um, if you're in shutter speed mode, which we're going to talk about, but that's TV on your camera. So you can see now shutter priority. This will change the actual value for you. So I'm either making it go faster or um, slower. That's super fast. One four thousandths of a second is how long that shutter stays open. And then alternating it the other way, slow as I can go. Three seconds, five seconds, six seconds. So yeah, you can really uh, make that shutter stay open for quite a while. If it's in AV mode, aperture priority, and I adjust. So what my f-stop, remember the larger the number, the smaller the hole, less light is coming in, and the um, smaller the number, the bigger the diaphragm, so more light is able to come in. So you're going to adjust those when you're ready for those two activities. And then everything else, just keep it on your automatic mode. There you go. 
and then the camera is going to do all the guesswork for that exposure triangle for you. Okay? All right, guys. Can't wait to see what you create. Have fun.